Welcome back to Wheel and Command Pro Tips. Today we are going to discuss in depth more hardware navigation. To start, we are going to select Carbide from the drop down and click Continue. On the left side of the screen, you will see all the hardware available to add. The first hardware piece we will add is the control head. As you can see, these eight control heads are supported by the Carbide. For this demonstration, we are going to select the 15 button handheld controller and click OK to add this to the hardware list. Now we will add a light bar. We can import a light bar from an existing WCAD file, or we can design our own in command. We will design our own by clicking Design Light Bar. For this demonstration, we will use the Liberty 2 Duo 54 inch with Duo Traffic Advisor. When the bar is created, you will see two boxes below the light bar type. If your bar is equipped with a photo cell or the cable exits on the driver's side of the vehicle, you will need to select the respective box. Our bar has a photo cell, so we will select light bar light sensor and we will click OK to add this to our hardware list. Now we will want to add an inner edge. We will do so by clicking Design Inner Edge. The FST Inner Edge 10 Lamp Duo appears in what we will be using for this demonstration, but we will want to change the colors to all blue. To do so, we select all of the red modules, and then in the bottom left hand corner under Lighthead Color, we will select blue. If you click Escape, it will deselect the modules and you will see that all of them are now blue. In the bottom right hand corner, you can click OK to add this to the hardware list. If you are using an integrated traffic advisor, you would click Traffic Advisor, you would select your light head count, and you would also select the light type, and then click OK to add this to the hardware list. If you were using an input expansion, you would add this here, but we are not. If you were using an output expansion, you would add this now as well. Since we are using an FST inner edge, it is telling us that we must leave the orange wire uncut. We will click OK to add this to the hardware list. If you have purchased an external siren, you would add this now by clicking external siren, and you will see that it is automatically added to the hardware list. Lastly, if your carbide is equipped with the CAN port, you would add this as well. You would choose your vehicle, and for this demonstration, we will use the Interceptor Utility 2018. And then you can select up to eight CAN signals from the list below. For example, brake service. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Wheel and Command Pro Tips. Thank <laughs> you.